Preschoolers, toddlers and babies could soon be rolling up their sleeves. Moderna is out with new data showing the safety and effectiveness of their COVID-19 vaccine in children between the ages of six months and six years. And the results are considered very good. From the results, it seems that on the very top end, it looks safe, and that's the primary thing of all these clinical trials. The study involved almost 7,000 kids under the age of six and was conducted during the height of the Omicron wave. Early results show the youngsters who received a quarter of the adult dose developed high levels of virus-fighting antibodies similar to the older age groups. Omar Khan is a biomedical engineer with the University of Toronto and says the data is promising. It does look like it prevents severe disease for sure. And it does protect against infection, but it's around 50% protection. So while you can still get infected, uh, you're still seeming to be protected against severe disease, which are all good things. COVID-19 vaccines in general do not protect against an Omicron infection as well as they do with the other variants, but they do stave off severe illness, and that pattern continues with the youngest age group. Moderna says in the coming weeks it will be seeking emergency use approval in the United States and Europe, and if all goes well, it's possible the vaccine will be approved by Health Canada by late spring. To have, you know, kindergarten students, you know, those four-year-olds entering JK, giving them an opportunity to, to get some protection and to get vaccinated, that could be a game changer for the school year. If there's an opportunity to safely remove masks because everyone is protected, that's a very different argument than people just being exhausted of wearing masks, right? So then that makes it a much more easy argument and something you can support with data. For parents waiting to get their tots protected against COVID-19, this is encouraging news. It comes after the Pfizer trials for the same age group produced lackluster results. Another Pfizer study is now underway with a third dose being added to the primary series and those results are expected soon. This is a group that doesn't have any protection and they can remain this kind of viral reservoir and we don't want that, right? We want to have people vaccinated so that they clear those infections really quickly and that has less opportunities for viral mutation in that case and we don't want to create new variants. So far, the only adverse effect in these young children was a mild fever. The results of the Moderna study were based on two doses of vaccine administered 28 days apart. Shauna Hunt City News.